Well, good evening and welcome to this week's edition of the Don't Argue. And one bloke that was uh, very, very good at the Don't Argue was uh, the NRL legend himself for the Newcastle Knights in Kirk Gidley and kids. All thanks to Palmer Bet. I say very good evening to you, mate. Uh, and what a evening, mate. week it has been in NRL. Yeah, huge week, mate. Um, yeah, the games keep keep rolling on. We, we, we post uh, that origin period now. And I know a lot of the teams... And players will be, you know, looking at this next block between now and the semi-finals to, you know, hone their game plan and and fine tune a few few things to to certainly uh, build into the semi-final. So, uh, a few players out this week, um, but we'll get around to that, mate. But yeah, pretty exciting sort of this block in the lead up to the semis now. Yeah, it's massive. It's a business end of the season, kids. That is for sure. Um, the Melbourne Storm, I cannot believe it. They've dropped their fourth in a row uh, going down to the Rabbits last weekend, mate. Uh, I just don't, we didn't see this coming at all, did we, kids? No, nah, no, we didn't, mate. Although your man, uh, Pat, mate, when when he, he was out with, I He's think it was a hemi there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, when he done his hemi there, they struggled a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then during Origin, uh, period, you know, they had a few guys out, obviously, with the Origin games, and then Munster had sort of COVID as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty rare they dropped four in a row. But mate, they're, they're the best coach of the game, mate. He's been there before. Pretty rare that, that they've been there before, dropping four, four or five games. But uh, I think there's the statistics uh, that they lost five in a row at one stage, and then they went went on to win eight in a row and win the grand final. So unbelievable. Don't write them off. No, never right off the storm, that is for sure. What about the Broncos? Uh, they are continuing their charge. They're, uh, they're playing some really good rugby at the moment, kids. Yeah, they're playing really good. It seems like they're playing, again, with plenty of belief in their game plan. They're ex- executing their game plan really well. Adam Reynolds, the difference for me there, that's for sure. His leadership, the way he controls the game. Obviously, they've got plenty of other star players who are playing probably the best footy of their career. But uh, great. I always knew he was going to be a great signing for for the Broncos, but they've overachieved where I probably thought they, they would be at this stage of the year. What about Benny Hunt's masterclass, mate, for uh, for the Dragons against Manly? Uh, he's a super player, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Look, he was he was another big signing for the Dragons and uh, come with a fair a fair uh, contract, you know, as far as payment-wise. Yeah. But, you know, and he come under some, I guess, some fair criticism when he maybe wasn't living up to that. He certainly probably living up to the, the price tag now. And he had a big origin series for Queensland. And, uh, he really is the difference when, when the Dragons are going well. He's just his enthusiasm, his kicking game, uh, the way he takes the line on. You know, he, he plays with some real passion, which I think he was always uh, capable of. But, um, mate, they'll be, they'll be knocking on the door for the top eight now. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, this next this next three or four weeks is going to be absolutely magnificent. I reckon just to to see where it all finishes up. What about the most controversial end to a game? Of course, uh, Cowboys and the West <laughs> Tigers. Kids, been so much talk about it since. What's your take on it, buddy? Oh, it's disgraceful. Like, <laughs> mate, the top, no, the top, back, the, mate. I don't know what I, I found. Well, it was a poor poor decision. Yeah, yeah. From the centre, uh, I think it was the centre who ran. Uh, Kyle felt off the ball. He didn't need to. He yeah. didn't need to do it. The ball was going too deep for for felt to try and get there on the full. And I just didn't think it was a genuine escort. Um, but you know what was it? I think there was a second to go when Dewey was lining up the goal, and you know one second on the clock, and they, they've they've won the game after the bell. So Amazing. poor, poor, a couple of poor decisions there. Um, certainly from the ref, uh, and you know. They, it's done. You know, it's another Tigers game where they, they imagine, should have won. Imagine Gids if it had been a team that's, uh, you know, like really teetering on the edge and, you know, on, on a finals position yeah. at the moment. Like it's just, well, oh, you know, the West Tigers at the bottom of the, of the ladder. But to be honest, like the, the Cowboys couldn't afford to, to drop that game really either, could they? Nah, nah, no, nah, not no way. Uh, mate, I was, I was sort of going for the Tigers. I just thought they deserved to win. They were yeah. playing some good footy. Their shape looked good. Uh, they were playing with plenty of effort, so I was actually going for the Tigers watching that game just purely, um, you know, I thought they deserved to win. And even the last, the, you know, the, when they scored their last try to go in front, they deserved that. They all pushed with each other, and it was a great try for them to get back in front. And they should have, they should have won the game. Mm. Right. What about the Palmer Bit race to the top four, kids? Uh, unbelievable. Um, to see where this betting has changed. There's six rounds to go. Um. 
Panthers obviously are a lay down as there, so they're gonna they're a lock, okay, to, to finish in the top four. So yeah. the current odds, all thanks to Palmer, but the Cowboys are at a dollar oh eight, Sharks at dollar twenty five, Broncos at dollar fifty, the Storm at two dollars twenty, Rabbitohs at four fifty, and the Eels at ten bucks. Which way are you heading? Because to be honest, I, I reckon the Storm with the value now at two dollars twenty gets. Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't. I don't think they can be without Pappenhausen now. Like the, you know that I've seen the skin of his off. crack. If he's, I, I'm not I'm just. I'm writing him off the top four at this stage. So I just think yep. he's a massive. He's a massive X factor for for the Melbourne Storm. And you know, the, apparently they're in the hunt for a replacement uh, for the well, the official sort of transfer window, uh, if you want to call that, for the back end of the year. I know they're looking for for a replacement to try and sign someone for the back end of the year, but. I've got them out of my top four at the moment. I've got uh, Cowboys, Sharks, Broncos, plus, of course, the, the Panthers. And I've just got South maybe as the possible outside of that may try and, and push into the top four. And the real interesting one, isn't it, is the Eels. You know, like they, they've beaten the Storm. They've beaten um, the Panthers. <laughs> um, yeah, yep. so that best is good enough, but they just don't produce it often enough. But look at the odds now. They're 10 bucks to yeah. make the top four. And you'd probably say that's... Uh, yeah, you know, not going to get a return on that. I can't see them getting the top four at the moment. They've you've got a bit of controversy floating around their club and some uncertainty, and they're just not playing consistent enough to be now, in the listen, top four. Or near my, my favourite segment with you, Gids, uh, is put a line through them. It took you a couple of weeks just to get your head around uh, the <laughs> put a line. You've got markers, you've got highlighters, you've got everything. <laughs> We've put a line through the Tigers, the Titans, the Knights, which was really hard on you, mate. You would have copped a fair bit of stick. I'm tipping uh, off your yeah, knife, Warriors, mate. Uh, Warriors <laughs> and Bulldogs are gone. Uh, where are we going next, big fella? Uh, we've still got the Dragons, Raiders, Sea Eagles, Roosters uh, in that kind of, uh, you know, uncharted territory. What are you thinking? Well, about a really interesting round. I, I think this weekend, you know, we've got four teams there on 20 points, which, you know, range from, from eighth position to, to 11th. So I think it's a really interesting round. Probably one that I'll, I'll just sit on the fence this week without putting the lines for anyone, to be honest. But oh, I'm come just on, at, mate. Yes. I don't think Palmer Vet's going to let us do that, mate. You've got to put your line through someone. Someone. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm just looking at some of the games here, like Dragons have. You know, got a couple of tough games. We've got Cowboys, Sharks, Raiders. So they're a chance of, you know, beating the Raiders, but they're on the same points. Then you've got the Raiders who are playing Titans, Panthers, Dragons. Another couple of tough games in amongst that one. And then the Sea Eagles have got Roosters, Eels and Titans. So there's, you know, those those three teams there, I can only see them, you know, if you look at the favourites, you know, winning one, possibly two of the three games. So interesting, definitely big interesting round this Come weekend, on, who am I? Come on, mate. Put a who line am I going to go? Line. Mate, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to put a line through the Eagles. I'm wow. going to put a line through the Eagles. Now, is this on the back? On, on what's happened the... this week? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to get your take on it, kids. A um, lot spoken about it. Uh, obviously, seven players not playing, the Pro Guernsey, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's your thoughts? Well, I just thought they were getting some momentum, mainly, too. You know, we heard Tommy Turbo come out last week and say, look, I'm, I'm potentially going to be okay if we make the semis. Yeah. Well, that was going to be a real boost for the club. Um, but I think with the controversy that surrounded this, the, the Pride jersey that they were, uh, they were going to wear and, and seven of their players uh, not committing to playing this weekend purely because of their religious beliefs, which is you know fair enough. But, mate, you're also a professional sportsman and you, you when you sign up and you sign the contract, you sign up to to play and do whatever's required for, for your club and your team and your teammates and your fans. Uh, so, yeah, you, you, I, I respect their decision, but if I was their teammate, I'd be, uh, I wouldn't be happy. No, and especially. I would not be happy. I'd be filthy. Where their season's at. This is like a massive well, game this weekend. And, mate, it's not just that they're missing seven players this week. I, controversy like this can derail your year. Yeah. And where they're, where they're at the moment, they're, they're ninth position. They're on 20 points with four other clubs. And purely, this just saps out any team morale and yeah. the fans will be having a crack at them. Their teammates who are, who are playing will, uh, I'm sure, be on the inside disappointed. Uh, it's just it's just all the controversy that you don't need as a club when you're on the on the brink of the eight. 
mm. just on yeah. that side of the eight. Well, I'll so, tell you what, it's uh, it's affected you because you've just put a line through a mate, so uh, they are gone. gone for me. Season twenty. Dizzy, I, I watched Desi's press conference and I just I thought he delivered it really well. His statement. He's a ripper. Yeah. Good, really good, really good show of leadership. Yeah, absolutely. But the Sea Eagles. All thanks to Palmer. Line through them. They are Gonski. Okay, so uh, oh, tell you what, it's going to be a big round this weekend. That is for sure. Good space. Let's have a look at the round two, kids. Uh, starts on Thursday night, and it is the Manly Sea Eagles taking on the Roosters. Seven fifty PM, Four Pines Park. Of course, head to head, the Sea Eagles at four bucks. The Roosters at a dollar twenty-five. So the uh, the Sea Eagles have absolutely blown out in betting all week. At the line, the Roosters minus thirteen and a half, a dollar ninety. Now, key stats, the Roosters won their round two clash 26-12, so pretty comfortably. And the Roosters have been uh, on a scoring rampage. They've scored 96 points in their last two games, kids. So they uh, are in good nick at the moment. Good nick, yeah. And I, I mean, Teddy, mate, he just keeps flying after his origin series. You know, he, he was one of the best players in the series, uh, the both teams, and and uh, and he's come out of origin. You know, with his work rate, he, should, he, should, he almost should or expect a little dip in his in his performance through um, just fatigue, but, mate, he's still flying. So I'm, I can't get on the Roosters hard enough here and give away the start, uh, 13 and a half start, and they're a dollar 90, so I'm on them. Yeah, beautifully done, mate. I'm with you too. I just reckon uh, all roads lead to uh, to Roosters winning this weekend, that is for sure. That's where all the money's come, all thanks to Palmer Bit as well. Now, what about this? The Warriors for the Storm Friday night, 6 p.m., Mount Smart Stadium, kids. They're back. We finally got the Warriors on. Yeah. <laughs> head to head, the Warriors at four bucks. Storm a dollar twenty-five at the line. The Storm minus twelve and a half, a dollar ninety. Key stats: Storm won their round seven clash, seventy to ten. It was an absolute bloodbath yeah. that day. The Storm have not lost five in a row since two thousand and twelve, but then they won eight straight. And they won the competition. You dropped that earlier, kids. That is an amazing stat. Amazing stat, yeah. So. Be wary of the the wounded beast almost with uh with the storm. I mean, we've seen what the Warriors did last time they played over at, back at home at Mount Smart. So I think there'll be another big crowd to support uh, the Warriors back back at home. But I just yeah, I'm on the storm mate here just with you know the, the coach they have, Craig Bellamy. Um, I reckon there'll be pretty some pretty harsh words in those video sessions once you're reviewing those those last few games. But uh, definitely on the storm here and. I don't know. Again, there's a little bit of controversy around around this, um, the Warriors at the moment. Uh, Reese Walsh, you know, I think he only played 12 minutes there the other day, so not sure where his head's at, where his attitude's at. But you know, you'd, you'd expect a player like that to be to be start and having as much involvement in the game as possible. But Stacey Jones not liking what he's seen there. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting one, Gids. Watch this space, I'd say. Hey, uh, mm. double header on Friday night, 7.55, Combank Stadium. It's the Eels taking on the Panthers. Uh, head-to-head, Eels, 3.75. Panthers, Panthers $1.28. At the line, the Panthers, minus 10.5, $1.90. Key stats out of this one, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Eels won their round nine clash. It's a ripping game, 22 to 20. Close games, of course. Three of the last four matches between the two have had a winning margin of less than two points. So these two sides match up pretty well against each other, Gids. Yeah, it's the battle of Western Sydney there. And obviously obviously the Eels, they, they like playing the Panthers. They get up for these games uh, by the looks of those last, last few matches. Only two points between them. And they are a team that one of the only teams that have beaten the Panthers uh, at their home ground this year. So... They're obviously happy to get up for these type of games, Eels, and and uh, be interesting to see uh, how they go. But yeah, I'm on the Panthers. I do note that Crichton and Luai are out. Luai's out for could be for a number of weeks with a knee injury, so he'll, he'll that'll take a little bit out of their attack, and certainly Crichton as well. But did you see Stephen Crichton's ear, mate, from that no, I, tackle? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, it was literally uh, it's split in half. And it looks like there's a chunk missing out. It looked like Mike, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, Mike either. Tyson, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, a really, really aggressive tackle, um, sort of head head on head, but horrific sort of injury to, to look at post-game. post, post game. But I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the Panthers, mate, for this one still. You blokes are mad, mate, seriously. Oh, I'm still getting over that Origin game. That was just – that was crazy, to be honest. It was – 
it's fantastic to watch. Hey, uh, Titans taking on the Raiders Saturday, 3 p.m. at Seabus Super Stadium. Head to head, the Titans $3.03. Raiders $1.39. They're in good nick at the moment. The Raiders minus seven and a half, a dollar ninety. Key stats, Raiders won their round three clash 24-22 was another close one. Titans have lost eight straight games and they've lost 13 out of their past 14. Are they due mm. against? Can they get the win here against? They're not due. No. And again, mate, you know, when you sh- I'm on Raiders, I, you know, I like what the Raiders are, are doing at the moment. I they're do fought too. Hard to get, yeah, they've, they've fought hard to get to the position they're, they're in at the moment. Um, yeah. And I think they've, they've got a little bit of momentum. They've got a bit of belief going into this back end of the year. So and they're having definitely a crack. on the Raiders, they're having a crack, mate. They're competing, uh, yeah. which is great, which is great to see. But again, mate, like, you know, one of the leaders of, or so called leaders of, of the Titans team, Kevin Proctor, sacked for vaping at halftime, mm. like in a toilet, and filming himself. Oh, I, like, I must admit, when yeah. I when I saw this kids, and I just I couldn't believe it. A professional Jesus. sports person to even think how ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah. what's he thinking? That's the yeah. thing. Like, contract you know, he's been around. Up. Yeah, it's he's been around long enough. He should be one of the leaders of the group. He should be in the sheds at halftime, talking to the talking to his teammates and trying to. Um, Provide some feedback and some inspiration, yeah. and he's filming himself vaping yeah. in the toilet. Exactly, yeah. it's just not what the what the club needs. They're already under pressure, and that's certainly not going to help him. Nah, hundred percent, mate. I'm with you on that one. Hey, Sharks v the Rabbitohs Saturday, five thirty p.m. at Shark Park. Head to head, the Sharks dollar sixty five, Rabbitohs two twenty five at the line. The Sharks minus two and a half a dollar ninety. Key stats: both teams have won four of their last five games. Sharks haven't beaten South since two thousand and nineteen. Match of the round for mine, Gids. Match of the round for mine, mate. Too, I've got that written down myself. I'm going to leaning towards the Sharks here on this one again. I just think they're they're playing some really good footy, and the Rabbitohs are as well. You know, this this is a a really great game for for the weekend of, of footy. Uh, Rabbitohs are playing some some great footy. Latrell seems to be going uh, back to his best, and yeah, game game of the round for me. But I'm just going to I'm going to go the Sharks minus two and a half star dollar ninety. It is, and but definitely a uh, a close one. I think this one. Yeah, beautiful, mate. Uh, it is going to be an absolute ripper. Broncos v the Tigers Saturday, seven thirty-five, Suncorp Stadium. Uh, Broncos head to head a dollar fourteen. Tigers five dollars eighty. Broncos at the line minus fifteen and a half a dollar ninety. Key stats: Tigers have won three of their last four clashes. Um, or is that is that the Broncos? Broncos have won three of their last four clashes with the Tigers, or is it the other way around? I'm not too sure there. Yeah, Bronco, Broncos, Broncos. <laughs> Broncos have won three of their Broncos. last clashes with their ti- uh, against the Tigers, and Tigers have lost seven straight. Broncos have won three yeah. straight. So, but they've been around the mark, haven't they? The Tigers, they're not. Yeah, you know, their best is all right. Well, that's the yeah, that's the mate. They they showed last week that they, if they get it right, they can compete with you know teams like the Broncos and the Cowboys. So, um, but last week was would have broke their spirit. You know, would have broke their spirit oh. last week. Um, no, it would have been emotional, it, but it was shattering for him, wasn't it? Oh, shattering, shattering. They done so well to get back in front with you know only a, only seconds to go or a minute to go, I think it was. Uh, so that all that was that was heartbreaking for him. I find it hard for them to pick back up, you know, for this week. So Broncos for me, Adam Reynolds on fire, steering the ship well there, and uh, I'm on the Bronx minus a start, minus oh. fifteen half start. Righto, mate. Knights for the Bulldogs, Sunday, 2 p.m., McDonald Jones Stadium. Are you getting along, kids, firstly? I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there. It. Just be careful, mate. Up in the, put up a in lot the of... Protect Sportsman's box, mate. I love Hosting it. that one. Hey, listen, head-to-head, Knights 250, Bulldogs $1.54. At the line, the Bulldogs minus four and a half, ninety. Key stats, Knights won their round 10 clash, 16 to 6, kids. Kalen Pong is out mm. for the season. Josh Adokar has eight tries in his last six games. Some amazing stats there. Can you get the win, big fella? Well, mate, the last time we played, you know, we only just chalked up the win. So this one's going to be tight again. Uh, yep. uh, Adokar got a hat-trick there last week. They they, uh, they played well there in last week's game. We, we've got a few blokes back. I know Kalen's out for this week, yeah, likely for the for the rest of the year. I know he's got to get a check-up. Tomorrow, I believe. Uh, but Tex Hoy into that position. Dom Young back. Kurt Mann back. Um, so we've got a few troops coming back, which is always good to see. Dom Young, young English winger, 
uh, has been probably our best player, I think, this year. Um, yep. So he was a bit of a loss last week. He, you know, he's happy to take those tough yardage carries. He competes defensively and he picks up picks up uh, plenty of tries. So, yeah, I'm on the Knights boys this week. and But I think it could be a tight one. I think the dogs, are they'll be up for this one. Beyond the Knights, and I reckon uh, the old ProTech uh, Superbox will be absolutely humming if uh, they get the job done with the service. I'll get it bouncing. Yeah, yeah get it bouncing, mate. Hey, hospitality. <laughs> Dragons with the Cowboys, Sunday, 4.05. Uh, it's a Jubilee Stadium. Head-to-head Dragons, 281. Cowboys, $1.44. At the line, the Cowboys, minus 6.5 at $1.90. Key stats here, Cowboys won their round 14 clash, 31-12. to this is an odd stat here, Gids. In the last four Cowboys games, their opponents have scored 26 points. Okay, so against Manly, they won. Against the Broncos, they won. Against the Sharks, mm. they lost. And against the Tigers, they won. Are the Dragons of value here, Gids, on the home deck? Yeah, yeah mate. If, you know what? If they were a win stadium, I probably would have lent towards the Dragons. I know, you know they just yeah. seem to... Be a little, little bit more inspired when they're playing at, at down at Wynn Stadium or Wollongong. Um, yeah. But look, I'm on the Cowboys for this one. They wouldn't be happy about 26 points being scored by the, their opponents in those last four games. You know, I'd, yeah. I reckon their their coaching staff would uh, would be wanting to try and minimise those th- those type of points against. Um, yeah. So I'm on, I'm on the Cowboys. I think they all you know have a pretty honest review of last week's game where they they should have been beaten. They found a way to win. Um, and I think they'll be up to improve uh, for this week's game. So I'm only just leaning towards the, the Cowboys on this one, but the mate, the Dragons, they, they could be right up for it. They had a great win last week, and if they want to be in the top eight, which is a big carrot to be dangled at, uh, at this stage of the year, they'll, they'll, they've they'll got to be up for it and competing. I, I reckon they're the value for the weekend for mine. Uh, Gids, I reckon they just $2.81. Yeah, the Smokey. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the Smokey for the weekend. Hey, uh, all thanks to Palmer Bet, of course. Uh, now, what is uh, Kurt Gidley going to do? What's your best bet of the weekend? What's your your absolute knockout? And, and then give us a multi, two gids. A multi, uh, mate. My best bet is I'm on the Storm thirteen plus and to score the first try. So two bucks twenty three for that yep. one. I'd, yep. Yeah, over in, over at Mount Smart, I just think they're yeah. You know, they're a professional outfit, and they'll they'll want to bounce back. Pappenhausen, huge loss for him for the rest of the year because he brings that speed and X factor. But I, I can see him bouncing back this week. So thirteen plus, and to score the first try, two bucks twenty three. Um, multi, mate. I haven't got a multi off the top of my head. I haven't run through unless you want to yeah, have a little right. look, mate, and run Do run through. To, I've got yeah, a, I've got want... um I've got pen, I've got a, there's a bit of value on Penrith one to twelve three bucks ten. Uh, I just think with Luai being out, their their attack may uh, yep. not struggle, but they just might be as fluent as what it normally is. Like as uh, Cleary and, and Luai being uh, and uh, Isaiah Yo is a big part of their attack. Um, yep. So I just think if they're gonna if they're gonna win, um, and the Eels obviously you've got to well they play well. They've challenged them previously. Yep. They've challenged them previously. So I think it could be a tight game that one. And I've got. Penrith one to twelve, three bucks ten. Love it, kids. Absolutely love it. Now, like, sub- uh, subscribe, share, get involved in the conversation. Give it to us if there's something that you're not happy about. But uh, download the Palmer Bet app, of course. Gamble responsibly. That is the key message. Um, plenty on offer in there in the bookies bag and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is really, really easy to navigate around, but do it in a responsible manner. Hey, kids, uh, you've got a massive weekend, mate. I hope your nights can get up for you too, mate. Thanks, bro. I've just come off the back of the two nights up in the Hunter Valley for a, a New South Wales mining function, mate. So you're a freak. Uh, <laughs> any shindig, any shindig you can get to, kids. You seriously, you've got a better <laughs> social life than anyone I've ever met in my life. You're a freak show. It's called networking, mate. It's business. Yeah, I know. Absolutely, it is. And, and you do it. You you're one of the best in the business. Hey, kids, <laughs> have a great weekend, mate. And I hope your nights can get up for you, buddy. Yep, have a good one, everyone. All the best to the punning.